Eloise had befriended somebody at a Bible study. Well, we invited them to Thanksgiving, and she said, well, I don't know if you would want us. And I said, well, why? And she said, well, I have a son who is disabled, and he is, um, most houses can't accommodate him visiting because, you know, most houses have steps or stairs or whatever, and he's in a, a motorized or a very heavy wheelchair, and he's completely immobilized. And I said, well, you know, we have strong boys. We could lift him into the house. <laughs> and she said, really? I said, yeah, sure. So, so he came to Thanksgiving. They all came. And uh, that's how we got to know Ben. Ben loves to be a part of things, but he doesn't, he can't speak. It, it takes a tremendous amount of effort for him to say one word. That's when we found out he is, well, we knew he's a huge Vikings fan, huge. That's what he lives for, to watch the football game and loves it. So he, he, he's faithfully watching the Vikings, but so he's never been to the Metrodome couldn't get there, yeah. family didn't have a lot of money. So I called the ticket agent and this all started with the ticket agent and I finally I got a name of a guy, um, Brad Madsen is his name with the Vikings organization. He called me in a couple hours um, and said we've got it set up for next week. And like, we're, we're oh still my. thinking we're gonna buy tickets, buy oh, the yeah. jersey, get it all, oh, you know, we're still thinking this the whole time. And then um, we get there they, Brad had found four tickets for his family to sit above an exit in the second deck where they have handicapped seating. But when he met Ziggy Wolf, Ziggy Wolf said, let's put him in a suite. It was pretty surreal. I mean, it was just like, wow, this is unbelievable this is happening. It's kind of like totally out of our control. And we're just kind of watching Ben. That was the most thrilling part. Well, then, just then, to watch him. then they, uh, <laughs> took him into this elevator and they took him down to the field level and all of a sudden we're on the field where the players are practicing and the cheerleaders are down there and coaches and celebrities and all that and he was just like wow <laughs> I mean you could just tell in his eyes that it was like the greatest thing he ever. was yeah he was completely blown away Adrian Peterson really took special interest in Ben and came up and met him shook his hand took his took a picture with him. Um, Percy Harvin, Harvin came up, came him, up you know, they, they were all, giving him high five. They all signed his helmet. It, was, for, it became a much, much bigger blessing than, than simply a thousand dollars, which is wonderful to be able to have, but it, it can be so much more. There's such a, a huge trickle down thing that could happen with that where it causes people's hearts to change. It causes it people to be less focused on themselves mm -hmm. and focused on others. Within the heart of, of someone, to be able to give does great things. It changes you.